boy was i wrong about emulation handhelds i was i was far wrong I'm, I'm sorry to the emulation community i'm so the mew mini plus came out last year in february and i re just recently bought this in 2024 i'm shocked that there's not like a better mew model this is still its its successor and for good reason man this thing is i was talking a lot of shit about handhelds no man this beats my argument in my last video um i still love original hardware don't get me wrong don't stop oh my god you're switching to emulation no i still am a hardware original hardware junkie for sure i did like this form factor and there's reasons why i been really impressed and in love with this thing i have played it for the last two days since i've gotten it non-stop this thing can play up to PlayStation and DS. Somewhat DS, um, you know, it doesn't have two screens. It's not touch screen. So the DS is very limited to what you want to play on it. So I really don't play DS on it. Playing PlayStation games on here feel kind of nice. Like, it, I'm not going to complain. It felt really good. I've been playing Toy Story 2 Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue, I believe it was, it was called, on the PlayStation. That was one of my favorite PlayStation games. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever finished it. I was a kid when it came out. A kid's attention span doesn't last long. So I only did a couple levels. But right now, I'm pushing to complete this game. I'm, I'm grinding it. And I'm having a great time with this Miu Mini Plus. Of course, I've heard the Miu company before. It was a very successful handheld, the first version, which was just called the Miu Mini. But it was always out of stock. People were waiting for it. They were following on their Twitter accounts for restock alerts. And they just never could meet the demand for the first model, which was the Miu Mini. And this one is, its I would say, its successor, the Miu Mini Plus. And this one, you can find them everywhere. They're on Amazon, AliExpress. I got this one on AliExpress during a summer sale. I spent less than $40 on this thing. Don't get me wrong. There are problems with this thing. And I will address what I felt so far with this this handheld um but i'm gonna be honest with you it's not a lot of problems it's not a lot straight off the bat playing this thing for the last two days destroys this ambernick when i've had the rg35v i do not like this at all this thing to me i don't know the buttons the buttons don't feel good the d-pad sucks i don't like the analog placements and this is just a simple it's a simple way of playing your favorite Game Boy Advance games. Your freaking... I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I do have Game Boy Advance games. But you know I have Game Boy Advance handhelds. Original hardware that are modded to play actual games. But I haven't been playing like Game Boy Advance on here. It's kind of weird what I've been playing on this thing. And what I got addicted to. Off the rip unbox you guys saw in the beginning of the video. is the unboxing of it. I thought it looked super nice. I'm not going to lie to you. I love the purple. Uh, for some weird reason purple. Translucent purple is my thing apparently I, I i always gravitate to the atomic purple i did have the atomic purple game boy color growing up so i guess that's why i love it i'm not gonna lie with you on the actual internet i thought they were red buttons but up close in person they're like a a, a purpley violet color so i was a little thrown off but the buttons still look nice don't get me wrong i just thought they were red buttons i thought it looked cool red and purple look like a really good contrast of colors and the boxing, you guys have seen the unboxing, I'm not going to show you much, it gives you a little piece of crap, USB-C charger, a SD card data transfer uh, adapter, do not use that, it is super cheap, so transferring speeds, and you get a screen protector, I am not going to lie to you, this thing, I am not a fan of the screen protector, I just think it looks super nasty, I might take it off, if only if it were to be more seamless and fit the entire screen. It's only covering the part where the actual or the IPS screen is and then the actual bezel on the on the outside is not being protected. So I get it, but I think the whole screen should just be protected because it looks funny like that. I don't like it. Of course, I have watched videos um, before buying this and Retro Game Corp, shout outs to my goat. He even recommended to not use the stock SD cards and I didn't. I knew for good reason why. The freaking stock SD card had a bunch of games. And I'm a person of organization, but I felt like the game files in this SD card were everywhere. Game Boy Color and Game Boy were mashed in together, which is kind of annoying. I don't like that. I feel like that's that's not organizing. It, it, it bugged me. So that was one problem. Another problem is these companies like to label the ROMs with numbers before the game. And sometimes the game isn't in alphabetical order. 
And you'll see, like, at the top, I get it. It's, like, the bigger games, like Pokemon. I'm a person of alphabetical organization. I love the alphabetical order. So that bugged me as well. I was frustrated. I was like, this is stupid. So I knew this was going to be a problem. So that's why I bought my own SD card. I even bought a bigger SD card because I wanted to play my PlayStation library on here. So that's what I did. And then another problem with the SD cards, a lot of the games are Japanese exclusive games or Japanese versions of the game. Especially on the PlayStation, it's PlayStation ROMs. They were practically all Japanese or Chinese uh, versions of the game. Not a problem. I just, I can't play it because it's unreadable for me. So, of course, I took into the matters of my own hand. I had my own ROM library, transferred all that into the new SD card. But let's talk about the OS, the original stock OS. Everyone says it's trash. I'm not going to lie with you. I don't mind it. It's actually kind of nice. It it works it's not bad you know what i mean it's very seamless simple go to your favorite rom i would just suggest changing the rom files because they're just bad and unorganized for, personally for me i mean that's just me and then they had a lot of game emulators that i really am not gonna play ever like atari i'm sorry links atari links all them i'm not gonna play it i'm sorry if i offended you that's just not my it's not my cup of tea well, when it comes down to the media function or the multifunction, I believe is the middle button on the, the Miu Mini. On the OS stock, it does the save, load, state, exit the game. Very simple. You can't complain. It really does work off the rip. I'm not going to lie to you. I played a couple games on original on the original OS. I didn't have a problem. I didn't think it was bad. But of course, I switched to the godsend Onion OS. That's a godsend, my god. I freaking love Onion. It's dope, it's amazing, it's everything I need. I tried other ones, I didn't record my footages of those. I tried the, I think it was like the minimal UI or something like that. They're cool, they're like the analog pocket UI. Really cool, but I the Onion blew me away. I thought it was how crazy and simple it was to make your, S, prep your SD card for Onion and adding the emulators. It, does, it basically does everything for you. You guys wanna watch a video, if you have a Miu Mini, you want to watch how to do the onion transfers and all that and put into a new SD card? Retro Game Corps, I will link him down below. That's where I learned he's the GOAT at Retro Handheld. So if you guys haven't watched him, go ahead and watch him. I'm pretty sure you guys have watched him. That was one of my one worries about transferring to a different OS. I thought I had to set up and map everything on RetroArch to the Onion OS. But Onion OS does everything for you. You literally just drag and drop your ROMs, your BIOS files your themes and that's pretty much it like you literally just boot it up and enjoy it i really have i've been telling you i've been having a really good time with this item it's a lot of people's favorites and i can see why it's it's a good freaking handout i'm not gonna lie to you i want to talk to you guys about the themes i thought the themes were beautiful there's a whole community about themes there's a subreddit about people creating new themes for the onion os i'm here for it it's awesome i have a lot i downloaded a bunch of them and I just think they're beautiful. I just like changing them every now and then. I'll change it every day or change it during the day. It's just depending on what I'm feeling, they're all really good themes. Let's talk about my favorite, utmost favorite feature in the entire thing. Middle function key, which is the middle button in the Miu Mini Plus, what it does on Onion. Onion lets you basically have various different game save points that you're playing on different emulators and you can pick which one you want to play and play it at the point you left the game. Love this feature. It is one of the best features I think I've ever seen. It's super dope. It's super necessary. I love it. So that way I can play. I'm tired of playing Toy Story. I can jump to my Pokemon Leaf Green save that I, that I just started. This is a lot of things what I think other operating systems need to pay attention to because this is really dope. This is a huge W for the community. I think this game switcher thing, I guess a 10 out of 10 for me. I've been playing this thing and I've been loving it so far because it's brand new to me. Yeah, if you're in 2024 and you're debating on what to get, Miu Mini Plus is still a goat, bro. It's crazy. It's a year old, which in retro emulation handhelds is old. Usually there's a new model every week. So for this thing to still be kind of on top after a whole year, it's a go-to. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll probably be posting a video in a couple months on how I feel about it then. But right now I'm in beer bliss and just enjoyment. I've been playing it. And maybe we'll make a video of us customizing our Miu Mini to our liking. There's LED mods. So stay tuned. I might be doing videos on that. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe. 
if you guys want me to check out another emulation handout you think is worth checking out let me know i'm curious i thought this was a huge good first start to uh to the channel it's it's a really good handheld but let me know i'll see you guys in the next video stay positive see you later peace